rigorous modeling of quantities. Of course, um, quantities are really important in, in any kind of engineering model, but certainly also in systems engineering models. Um, so I'll try to walk you through uh, what we have done and what we are doing, what we are completing for the second version of SysML. Um, give a bit of background. So the, the, the motive, background about myself, uh, uh, motivation for, for this work, and then walk you through, let's say, the process we've followed in, in developing it. And then finally, give also some examples uh, in, in the pilot uh, implementation tooling that we have and then wrap up with some remarks. So um, I think I'll, I'll try to uh, finish in like 45 minutes so that we have some time for question and answers afterwards. So, um, well, those of you who have indeed seen me and, and hear me speak on the panel on Sunday uh, uh, will know that, that this is my background uh, for the last 10 years before uh, 2019. I led uh, work in this uh, concurrent design facility at ESA, at ESTEC in the Netherlands, so the Research and, and Development Center. Um, this is a quite sophisticated uh, room uh, and facility uh, with a lot of, uh, let's say, backup uh, equipment in, in, in the <coughs> adjacent rooms. Um, so it's, it's a, a design facility where we have 32 seats and state-of-the-art computer, video, audio, et cetera, um, to do very quick turnaround conceptual design studies for most of, of ESA's new uh, European space missions. Um, so it's a very integrated process. Uh, I've been responsible for developing the underlying uh, standards and, and software to, to run this uh, facility uh, where we can model with a team of uh, yeah, between 15 and 25 different disciplines, uh, depending on the kind of mission, in a very integrated way, um, a fully parameterized model that is jointly used by all, these, uh, all, all the engineers who are in the room. And uh, it updates really in near real time. So, if somebody changes something in the model, then uh, within 30 seconds, everybody else has the same information. So there's a lot of process around it, of course, because if you, it's like a pressure cooker environment, uh, which very quickly turns into chaos if you don't uh, manage the process very well, uh, not, not just from the technical point of view, but also from the, the human interaction point of view. So there is a, a there's some tooling available, uh, uh, 